Yesterday, Apple hosted WWDC. I covered a whole recap, which you can see in the link in the description. The only thing it didn't include was the new Vision Pro AR VR goggles, which this video is dedicated to. So let's have a look. When you first put on Vision Pro, you see your space and everything in it. The home view lives right in front of you. It's where you find all of your apps. And you can place apps exactly where you want them. And launching new apps doesn't take space from existing ones. They simply occupy a new space centered around you. They can grow beyond the dimensions of your physical room with environments. Environments extend and transform your space. So first up, you can see there's a dial on the corner of these glasses, which can change how deep into virtual reality you are, whether you're in augmented reality or virtual reality. And inside, instead of like the Oculus where you have hands set to move about the screen, like pointers, it tracks your eyes as a cursor and you just pinch to click. It then has like a seamless voice use so you can just speak and it will search things for you and it will write emails and such. But you can then also bring in a Bluetooth keyboard or any Bluetooth devices which are compatible such as like the Magic Trackpad and the keyboard to use them within the reality. So instead of speaking and having to change bits and bobs when you write an email, you can actually just type it out in front of you, which is pretty cool. They have it in the Oculus too, the ability to use the keyboard. But the difference being with the Oculus, you have to download the app onto your PC. Now you can see your PC in this virtual world. And here, the PC is connected to the headset, which is amazing. It includes eyesight as well, which is a breakthrough technology, but it allows people to see your level of immersion through the headset. So they have an ability to see your eyes on the headset whilst you're in this augmented reality world. And something else which is cool about that is when people come near, you then break out and see this person within your virtual reality. So then obviously you can see people and not, you know, hit them or whatever. <laughs> but also it makes you more aware of your surroundings. Although I do hope that you might be able to turn this off so that people just can't keep like putting their hand in just to annoy you. You can then get iCloud as well synced across all your devices, including the headset. And so one feature of this is of course you can go onto your iMessage, but it means you can also see 3D images. It's, it's like we're in the era of holograms. So they also have spatial FaceTime and spatial audio, which is pretty cool. But I think they need to do some like avatar stuff or like a background remover so that the person seems as if they're there instead of just like a box. Now if that wasn't cool enough, obviously being Apple, they have to have a sick camera on it. And so what kind of camera do they make? A 3D camera. And so what it means is you can relive experiences in 3D with spatial audio as well. And the cool thing about it is you can't just cripply take pictures. People can see that you're taking the picture. So it comes on the front of the Vision Pro to indicate that you are taking the picture. Although it does start to here feel a little bit dystopian. And one, that's creepy because then you can just imagine everyone's outside with headsets on. But two, it gets creepy because it's like, you could just say you were videoing or taking a picture of something and be taking pictures of other people and stuff. Next up, media. So they have a personal movie theater, which is cool. Kind of the same as Oculus though. However, Apple make it one step better because you can play 3D movies in the headset. You can then play over a hundred arcade games and they've partnered with Disney so you can see movies as well as sports games and the likes. Honestly, it gives me goosebumps. Look at this. Touchdown! You could be at the game without leaving your home. Or be part of the action like never before. And I'm excited to announce that Disney Plus will be available on day one. As for the design, it has a glass front with cameras and detectors, and it's obviously it's Apple, so it's slick. It makes Oculus look like the tube TV of VR headsets. They then go on to talk seductively about how they studied heads to get the best fit. <laughs> but similar to Oculus, just sits your face, it's adjustable. Although, again, Apple being Apple, it, it looks cooler than Oculus. So you can plug it in and use it all day, or you can get up to two hours of use with an external battery. Meaning you don't have to have that weight of the battery on your head, which anyone who's used the Oculus knows, after a while it can kind of be a bit heavy, and it removes that issue as well. And so it has here 23 million pixels across your two eyes, with each only the size of a postage stamp in front of each eye. And then spatial audio using their dual driver audio pods in the headset, 
at your ears as well. Now for your profile, it uses an advanced neural network to create your digital persona and this is supposed to deliver a natural representation of facial and hand movements which will be cool for like FaceTime and stuff where like if someone's on video you will be on this like avatar video. The only problem is the footage that they give you of the example looks so dystopian because the good thing with like avatars is that they're not you but they're identifiable enough whereas when it tried to make it human but it's not quite human it just seems kind of terrifying. Now to handle all this they've made their own vision OS which you can see here and as for developers well watch this. Developers can use familiar tools and frameworks like Xcode, SwiftUI, RealityKit, and ARKit to make new apps for Vision Pro and to streamline the preparation of 3D content for spatial apps, we built Reality Composer Pro, which makes it easy to assemble complex scenes with realistic objects. We are excited to share that we've been working with Unity to bring those apps to Vision Pro. So popular Unity-based games and apps can gain full access to Vision OS features, such as pass-through, high-resolution rendering, and native gestures. And to unlock the Vision Pro, it just uses your iris, which is a unique, almost like a fingerprint, because even two identical twins don't have the same iris. Fingerprint, iris print. And so as for price and release, right, get ready. It's three and a half grand. So 3,499 US dollars, which is scary because that's starting at, and you know what Apple like with the ladder pricing, which if you don't, it's like, you look at one and you go, oh, I want this one, but I need it with a better processor. But then the better processor is the same price as the bigger one, but then you still want the better processor. So you want the bigger one with a better processor, but then there's an even bigger and better one. And then you just end up going like this. And next thing you know, you bought the top of the range one. That's what it starts at. And it's released early next year for people in the US and on Apple.com. However, for the rest of the world, it releases later in the year. So I'm not sure for the UK if we'll be able to buy them on Apple.com and then get them delivered out here. I don't know. We'll see. But for the price, I'll probably need to get another job just to get a shot. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you for what's going on in tech next time.